Hello, my name is Oren from CompuMatter, and today I will be demonstrating how to open up an HP BS076NR laptop for the purpose of SSD upgrades, RAM upgrades, or for repair. Without further ado, let's get into it. If you have this computer, especially if it's doing something similar to this where it won't boot anymore, make sure you have all your data moved off of the device and go ahead and power down the device fully by holding this button here. All right, we got this HP laptop here and I am planning on upgrading the conventional hard drive to a solid state drive, which will be a lot faster and more reliable. But during this video, it'll also show you some other details like RAM and things like that if you would like to upgrade or repair anything inside this computer. So first things first is actually getting to the components. There is a battery lock here and on the left side too that you'll need to unclip. Had to wiggle it a couple times, uh, the left one twice in order to get it to fully come out. So once we got that removed, we can begin removing screws. There's a couple hidden screws on this underneath these little rubber pieces, as well as two on the top underneath the battery that you'll need to take out. These are the rubber pieces that have the hidden screws. In this video, I'm going to use a plastic pry tool to pull those up to make it easier. This one's the DVD drive screw, and then there's a couple other ones um, that we'll have to take care of as well. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we got all of the screws out. Make sure to check it over. Um, these two at the top sometimes are tricky, easy to miss. And then all the ones under those rubber tabs. When you're pretty sure you got all the screws out, go ahead and flip the computer back over and open the lid. And we're going to have to use a pry tool to go in between this gray bit here and the black bit. So if you can carefully pry those two pieces apart, you should be able to get the bottom of the case off of the machine. Be extra extra careful of the sides as you go around as they're very thin on the plastic. You see this gray bit on the top. It's even got a little bit of a crack here because it looks like this has happened before. Um, and it can break very easily if you're not careful on both ends. All right, so the bottom is relatively easy to get through, but it's the sides and the top corners that are the trickiest. Just take your time. And if you feel anything binding or getting stuck, make sure you have the screw removed in that area. And it'll be pretty obvious when everything's all loosened up as you'll be able to flip the laptop around and wiggle this gray backing off of it. Alright, so everything looks pretty popped out at this point. I'm going to go ahead and flip the computer over and very, very gently wiggle this bottom plate up and down until it loosens up enough for it to pop out. You can wiggle it back and forth like this and it's all loosened. Alright, I'll put that aside. 
Now the main goal for me today is to replace this conventional hard drive, which is right here with an SSD or a solid state drive. There's a number of different things you might want to get in here for, like the RAM sticks. Uh, you can clean out the computer if there's any accumulated dust. All right, and a couple other things you should know about the system is the DVD rest place. This is the Wi-Fi card. If you remove the one silver screw, you're able to wiggle that out. The CMOS battery is right here, which you can pop out. And then the CPU is located right here underneath the heatsink. And this is a slot for an M.2 drive, which are good high performance. In this tutorial, we're gonna use a normal 2.5 inch SSD. For this process, I'm just gonna take these three screws out and get this hard drive out of the machine. One of them, two, and then this third one that holds the metal plate to the laptop itself. And then you can pop out this little metal piece and then gently wiggle the HDD from the system out of the SATA port there. If you have important data on here, be extra careful as these drives can be really fragile with their spinning disk. All right, now that that's pulled out, I can install an SSD that's got no data on it. This is gonna be basically a fresh start. And this particular model has proven itself to be very reliable. Uh, this one's a 240 gigabyte. It's really all I need for this computer. And you'll install it with the longer L-shaped port on the top side, but first we'll need to put this metal bracket back on the SSD to secure it into the laptop. So I'll just take these screws. I'm just gonna off screen, put those back in real quick. Okay, just like so. On the SSD, there should be little holes that you can screw into like that. And then once that's installed on there, you can carefully slide into these ports with the SSD until it's snug in there. You can see those gold pieces go away, and then this clips in on that little plastic bit, and you know you're good to go. I'm gonna secure it with this screw right here back in this spot. And once you've got that installed, you're all set to get a fresh install on there. And while you're in the system, if you're considering upgrading your RAM, it's pretty easy to do that as well. Just depends on the type you need. Crucial.com is a great resource for finding that out. But otherwise, I'm gonna just put the backplate back on, make sure it lines up with the two hinges up on the top, and I'm gonna click it in place up here first, and then go around the computer, making sure everything's clicking into place okay. Once you've done that, just check around the edges, make sure everything looks snug. I had to open up the laptop to click it in place better after the fact, just because it's hard to get everything pushing from the bottom side. In fact, it's not really recommended to do that on the corners. So I'm going to open this up and very carefully make sure all these are snapped back into place. You can tell when something's kind of pried up still. That one's good. All right, that's all set. And then now that we got this flipped back around, we can install the DVD drive back into the system which it screws into this here to hold it in place. From there, it's time to put everything back together. All right, and then finally we have the battery to reinstall here. So you're gonna angle it in this direction, and very carefully slide it in here until it clicks into place like so. 
and then make sure you have it locked. This is currently in the locked position here and you should be all set to go on to the next step. If you're interested in installing Linux, I have a how-to video using this computer as an example. That's all for this video on the HP Laptop Teardown. If you have any questions or run into any difficulties during this process, feel free to drop a comment below. And if you need some help installing an operating system on your computer, on this new SSD drive if you installed one, I'd recommend going to the description as I have included a media creation tool link for Windows 10 installation, as well as a video on how to install Ubuntu Linux. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. <laughs> bye bye.